One of the things that you'll notice in the brochure that we put together is a letter from Abner Shalev, who is the chair of, the, of Yad Vashem, uh, the Holocaust Memorial in Jerusalem. And I was struck from the beginning, and he mentions it in it to a certain extent, when we were visiting in 2007, when Yad Vashem recognized the Albanian role for the first time, he pointed out something of tremendous importance. He said, look at who was involved in the final solution, so-called, the extermination of European Jewry. These were products of the German Enlightenment. These were people with doctorates, PhDs. These were the people that murdered six million Jews. And then look at the Albanians. Who were they? Many of them without any education. What did they represent? the finest element of humanity, of morality. If you look at some of the books that exist today about who the rescuers are and what they're about, you'll see that it's about two things, empathy and courage. The willingness to take a risk, even at the expense of oneself. And in the Albanian experience, it's unique because it applies to everyone. It is the cultural essence that we are recognizing today. It's the essence that we all need if we are going to go into this next generation, make sure there's never another Holocaust, make sure that we're doing something to stop genocide, make sure that the United States, as Congressman Rohrbacher so eloquently put, is one of the greatest living experiments for democracy. And the people that represent this today are in this room. There's a certain special group that we need to recognize, and we'd be, we'd be wrong. We will also recognize our family, by the way, which we, sorry, we haven't done that yet, um, and other people. But it's very, very important, as Joe said. It's not just Joe and Shirley. There are several people on our board in this room today, not all of them. There are about 40 from around the United States, but some came around the United States. And I want to, please withhold your applause, but I would like each one to come up and please stand in front so that you can get proper recognition. And we would like to put this out to the world um, in all of the filming that we're doing. Many of these people spent 20, 25 years working with the Albanian American Civic League. I'm gonna do this in alphabetical order. Um, the first is Dr. Gazagoli. He's a naturopathic uh, physician. Where is, is Dr. Agoli here? Please, Gez, come up. And a medical doctor from Atlanta. He runs the Progressive Medical Group, and he's here with his wife, Donna, and his daughter, Morgan, and his son, Jordan, today. From Atlanta. From Atlanta. Um, Aga Malichkai, oh, and originally from Albania. Aga Malichkai, who you're going to be hearing about more today, is from Kosovo, a graduate of, of Zagreb University. He runs a major, uh, Kos the Kosovo Travel um, Agency in New York, and he's here with many members of his family. His father is one of the rescuers in Kosovo, and he'll be talking about that. And it's in the resolution. It's part of our resolution his story. Um, also his, well, uh, you can introduce Agim, your family, because he has some from around the world. We have Zef Balai, and, um, who's also here today with his wife, Lena. He escaped from Albania with his parents as a child. And he and his wife are business people who run a major real estate development um, and managing firm in the Bronx in Westchester County. We have Faton Bislimi who is, I know, doing a lot of work. I hope he's here right now. Born in Kosovo, escaped to the United States in high school, graduated from Lutheran, uh, Texas Lutheran University, then Harvard University, is now doing a PhD in international relations at the University of Alberta in Edmonton. We have Arslan Chekai, born in Montenegro, escaped to the United States. He's a multifaceted person, an artist, a pilot, a real estate entrepreneur. He's here with his wife, Rosetta. They're both accomplished business people. Where are you, Arslan? There, and his son, Kaplan, is here, too. We have uh, Zef Dedovane. Please hold your applause till the end. We have Zef Dedovane, born in Albania, the owner of a large restaurant in Michigan and a central person in the Roman, Albanian Roman Catholic Church there. 
We have Jerge Dedvukai. Please come up. Zef, come on up. I guess he's blocked from moving. We have uh, Jared Zedbukai, born in Montenegro. He's the owner of a well-known restaurant in Arthur Avenue. This is just the board coming up, not the family. It's, it, if you don't mind, it's just the board right now, sorry. We'll, we'll take pictures later with everybody. Um, and uh, George is the rector of a school, come on, over, uh, teaching the Albanian language and culture to Albanian American children. We have Adam Dukai, where is Adam? born in Montenegro, an engineer coming all the way from Huntington, California, specializing in alternative energy. Adem, are you with us? He's coming. Okay. We have Ferro Jambalai, born in Montenegro, owner of Champion Marlboro, uh, Marble, sorry, in Marlboro, New Jersey. He has a construction company specializing in marble. Um, we have Sammy Januzzi. Is Sammy here right now with us? Great. Born in Albania. Um, sorry, born in Macedonia. He's a naturopathic doctor with a successful practice in Atlantic City. His nephew is here, I know, Michael Januzzi. They've served on the board for many years. Gazman Lita, born in Albania, the owner of Le Jardin, a very, very fabulous restaurant in Hudson, uh, overlooking the Hudson River in New Jersey. Is he here He's with his wife, uh, Spresha? She's here today, and with cousin Ilermeta and his wife, Aisha. We have um, Luan Mazreku, born in Kosovo. With the help of Albanians, he actually uh, was able to leave after the war. He has a bachelor's degree from Drury University, a master's degree from Missouri State University, and he is currently a grant specialist for a nonprofit organization in Chicago, and he is our key translator. We have Rafat Mehmeti, born in Macedonia, from Staten Island now, and a successful restaurateur in Brooklyn with his wife here, also Luria today. Come on up, everybody. We have Maris Nutsulai, born in Montenegro, successful restaurateur in Belleville, Michigan, and a long history of charitable giving and somebody who literally had to escape with his own life. Many, many people here had to escape under communism. We have Hafez Shala, the director of a, a construction company at the time he was in Kosovo and a leader of the opposition to the Serbian occupation. His children here are here today, Luan, who is risk management director at Barclays, and Lindita, who is an information technology expert. And we have Dervis Shehu, born in Macedonia with a degree in physics, and he works in real estate management today. He's here with his wife, Spresa, and children, Elita, Ardita, and Alban. Please give everyone a resounding <laughs> praise and applause. Yeah, we're going to say, I'll, I'll say it and you talk about it. And we have a gift for everyone on the board, which is a very, 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 very special book. And, with, and it's inscribed that we'd like you to pick up, and it's over there, and Joe's going to mention briefly what it's about. It's being released for the first time in the world, and it's being done right here, and you're the first recipients. Thank you. We can't thank you all enough for everything. We are well, a family together, and we will be seeing each other. Stand there for a minute. Don't, don't move, please. Gentlemen, just a minute. Just a minute. Uh, the... Uh, these gentlemen didn't get off that easily because this is a very expensive event and they are financial sponsors as well. So thank you for all you did to make this possible besides the, the Retina family and, and, and other uh, organ. And by the way, our Italian friends also, we we'll have, talk about that. yeah, we'll, 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 we'll talk introduce about them. They're also, but let me say this, this book was flown in from uh, Albania just to be here. It was produced last week and this book has not, been in English for over 600 years. It was in Latin for 550 years. It was only translated into Albanian in 1962 on the 50th anniversary. But it, it, when you read this, and we have this inscribed to each member of the board and other dignitaries here, you will really see the heroism of the Albanian people after the great general, George Castriati, died in 1468. This is the Siege of Skodra how 10,000 Albanians withstood 250,000 Ottoman Turks. They have to make a movie of it. When you read it, you can't put it down. But it's a gift for you. As you go there, pick it up. It's on the table. Each one of you, it has your name on it. So thank you so much thank for you. all you've done. Right. Thank you. Thank you. While the board receives their book, I'd like to call up Bob Levy, 
the chairman, the newly elected chairman of the National Council of Young Israel, representing hundreds of synagogues across the United States.